season. AJ Casavell is the Padres team reporter for MLB.com. He joins us right now here on the show. AJ, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, good. absolutely. So I'm sure you heard us talking about the, this experiment, the Christian Betancourt mm -hmm. experiment here for the Padres, a guy who's catching, pitching, and playing the outfield. How's that coming along right now? Well, I think it's going about as well as the Padres could have hoped. There's obviously, it, it's obviously not going completely smoothly. A guy who's never really pitched before in his entire life doesn't just take the ball in February and, and become a major league relief pitcher by the end of March. But uh, he's, he's looked pretty good on the mound. I think the biggest challenge for him has been repeating his delivery. There's so much, uh, there's so much that goes into uh, nailing down a delivery, and, and it's, for most of these guys, it takes pretty much their entire lives to, to find one. And, and for him, he's He'll, he'll throw a, a, a good fastball or two, and then maybe he'll uh, he'll open a shoulder, he'll, or he'll do something different. And uh, he, he's having trouble, I guess, getting nailing that down. Um, and that was probably to be expected, but the results have been pretty good. Uh, I believe only one earned run so far through five and a third innings. So uh, he's uh, uh, and and on offense, he's they're they're just kind of giving him uh, they're giving him a pass this spring because he's been working so much. Uh, on the mound that whatever he does on offense in spring training, it's not going to be a detriment to his roster chances. It's going to help him, if anything. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing him pitch in some of those uh, mop-up situations there for the Padres last year, and, and that's probably where this all got started here. But what led to them actually trying to do this in the major leagues in the regular season? Yeah, it was pretty much exactly that. They, uh, they put him on the mound last year in those two mop-up games, and he hit, I think, 96 on the radar gun. So uh, they saw that fastball, and they also saw a delivery that they, I mean, it was by no means perfect. In fact, it wasn't even very good last year when they brought him in in June. But they saw a delivery that they thought they could maybe harness. Uh, and if you look at it now compared to what it was last June, it's night and day. It's, it's much smoother. Um, now, like I said, it's just a matter of him being able to kind of kind of repeat it and, and, and stay consistent with it. Uh, he's, he, his biggest problem so far has been uh, control, but I think the thing, the thing the Padres are most pleased with with him is uh, he's not afraid to attack the strike zone. Sometimes you'll get pitchers who first time in big league camp or something like that, and they want to nibble on the corners. Uh, he he's willing to throw his fastball uh, down the middle when he needs to, and he's, uh, his slider and his, his changeup are uh, – they're behind. They're behind his fastball because obviously those take some time to learn. But uh, they are, are, I think, ahead of where the Padres maybe thought they would have been otherwise. What's his best position of those three? If you could power rank the positions, what, how would they go? Good question. Uh, hitter would probably be his best position. But uh, of, <laughs> of pitcher, catcher, outfielder, um, uh, probably probably catcher. I mean, he's he has a obviously he's, he's pitching. He has a good arm. Um, but he has a good arm behind the plate, uh, and that's a position he's played his entire life. So I think it was from the time he was uh, signed by the Braves to up until last season, that was exclusively the position that he had played. But um, I would say at, th at this point in time, catcher, uh, outfielder, pitcher. Uh, but in terms of potential, uh, you could see pitcher jump ahead of outfielder at, at some point. The outfield, he hasn't, he hasn't done it a whole lot. Uh, I asked him about it yesterday. I asked him if, if he feels like he needs more reps in the outfield, and he kind of put it put it bluntly. When you compare outfield to catching and pitching, which are probably the two hardest positions on a baseball diamond, he said, "Hey, I just go out there and catch the ball, and if I have to throw it, hit the cutoff man, and he, he, it's that simple." So uh, he's he's not wrong in that assessment. When you're when you're catching and pitching, which require the two mo the most thought of any two positions, two two to the two most difficult positions in all sports. Uh, Outfield doesn't seem too difficult, but I know when he gets in the outfield, he likes to he likes to kind of show off his arm. So uh, I think they'll 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 kind of experiment with uh, with him out there this season. I, I wouldn't expect to see him in a in the outfield in any key moments. 